For as long as I can remember, I've been a car guy. Cars always symbolize freedom to me. When I first learned to drive, the world opened up to me in a way I could never appreciate on my skateboard or, ironically enough, on my bike. When people ask me about electric cars, my response usually is, no thanks, I prefer my cars to destroy the planet. I'm slowly coming around, but electric cars just don't have the passion and emotion that I want from a car. So when I was asked to try out a funny looking electric bike from a company named Aventon, called the Cinch, whose great party trick is folding in half, I said, sure, if you want to send me one, but don't be surprised if I hate it. I've had this funny looking bike for a few months now, and I have to say, I don't hate it. I love it. <laughs> for over five years, I've had this road bike that I rarely barely ride. I'm convinced I only got it so that any girl who comes to my place will see it and assume I'm actively well-rounded. However, a road bike like this in the city, for someone like me, just isn't much fun. It's like having a 911 GT3, but only driving it to the local CVS to pick up cheap wine to drink on your Netflix and chill date with that girl I thought I was going to impress with my dusty, unused road bike. It's just too specialized for what I would use it for, which is riding around the city like a black Dennis the Menace. That's where the cinch from Aventon comes in. The Cinch is a foldable e-bike. Yes, you heard that right. It's a foldable e-bike that I didn't know I wanted. The looks of the Cinch are incredibly deceptive. In photos, the Cinch is a funny looking thing, almost like it was designed for a fat toddler. However, in person, it goes from being funny looking to looking desirably unique. I never ride this bike and not get compliments. It doesn't look futuristic, nor does it look old. It just looks satisfyingly different. Most importantly, withstanding this bike's origami ambitions, the bike looks high quality. I really mean it. It was the first thing I noticed when I got the bike. All of the parts and the finish of the bike come off as really high quality. Honestly, I always forget that this bike folds. It literally folds in half like it's a rolling laptop, and it's really simple to do. Notice I said, simple, not easy. Sure, the handlebars are easy enough. Release the latch, let them fall, and honestly, folding the frame is really easy. It's the getting it to latch after you unfold it that becomes a bit of a chore. And it's largely because the cinch, well, it's too well built. It may fold, but this bike is solid. It's designed to take some abuse, so you're gonna have to put in some effort to latch it closed. But once you do, you will completely forget that this bike is foldable. Riding this thing is a pure joy. Because of the beefy suspension system and the four inch fat tires, nothing as far as terrain goes is off limits. And that's what makes this thing so awesome. I can do whatever the hell I want in this thing. It has a top speed of 20 miles per hour with a throttle on command and a 40 mile range. I am literally a menace in these streets when I'm on this thing. If I want to ride on the street, I can do it. If I need to hop a curb to get onto the sidewalk, I can do it. Bored of the street and want to ride on dirt and grass, I can do that too. I've yet to find anything that will stop me in the city. I go where I want and I have the tires, the speed and the power to do it and in complete and utter comfort. This is not a bike, it is happiness on wheels. And this is coming from someone who has a 911 GT3. There have been days I have taken my GT3 out for a drive only to come home and then get on my cinch and ride through the city and be just as happy. It's freaking crazy how much fun this bike is to ride. Sure, it has five levels of pedal assist, but I never use it. I just use throttle on command. Charging it is easy. It's literally plug and play. You can even take the battery out and charge it by itself if you want. The backlit display that comes on the bike does its job, but it looks a little cheap, if you ask me. And the seat could stand to have more cushion. But I really don't care because I am beyond in love with this bike. When I'm riding it, I am genuinely happy. And there aren't many material things in the world that you can say that about. There is a affiliate link in the description section of this video. Um, if you are just wanting to get more information about the bike, or if you know you absolutely want to buy this bike, make sure you use that link so they know that I sent you.
Oh, and don't forget, like this video, leave a comment in the description section to let me know what you thought of this video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel, and share this video if you like.